I'm feeling really good. I've been excited for this for a while. I just want to get that experience. I can at least check it off my bucket list. I'm in a pageant and that's about it <laughs> at this point. I'm excited. It's not something I've ever done, so. Oh, I'm always nervous, but it's one of those things where once you get on stage and the lights are on you and you just get in that zone, all the nerves wash away and all you feel is excitement. Given the past year, it's impressive that Cabrini was still able to host its annual pageant given the uncertainties of 2020. Well, I actually learned how to make something new exclusively for the pageant, where I'll be making balloon animals, actually. For example, all last night I was just making sure I could make them quickly and efficiently enough that I wasn't going to mess up on stage. And there we have our flower. My talent is I'm actually going to be reading a book called Ambitious Girl by Mina Harris and I'm going to teach a lesson. I'm an education major here at Cabrini. Um, so I decided to teach that lesson just to talk about the importance of literacy in schools but also talk about the importance of building up your confidence as well. So yeah, it's a, a little mixture of all in one but I feel like when it comes to like pageant and stuff like that you just got to be your most authentic self. I've sung since I was a really little girl so it's something I've grown up with and done all my life so it's one of the things I do best, so I was like, why not bring it to the masses? Because I love to sing and I love to perform for people. I haven't gotten to sing in front of people before, so I'm really excited to see how that goes. Well, I had no idea what talent I was going to do. First pick I felt was too difficult to like, work around, so I said, I'm going to do a skit about graphic design. So I'm excited and looking forward to it. I got a whole strut planned down the stage. Just watch and see, it's going to look real good. Hello, Cabrini University. Are you ready for the skit that is all point branded? In addition to socially distant space seating, the event was live streamed for the first time. With a sense of normalcy returned to the event, contestants found themselves enjoying the thrill of competition again. In addition to the crown being on the line, each winner gets to donate a cash prize to the charity of their choosing. Um, so the charity that I'm donating to is actually um, supporting literacy in children, and that's kind of incorporating my talent, whereas I want to give back to low socioeconomic neighborhoods for children of black and brown students who don't have books in their school. I would be doing Toys for Tots, actually. I will be donating personally to my hometown's multi-service because they do a lot for my community and the surrounding community, so I want to give back to them. I was going for the Arbor Day Foundation. I'm a huge tree person, a huge plant person, so they were the first group that I could think of to donate to. Uh, I would love to win, yeah, that'd be awesome. I love going on stage, I love public speaking, I love just being in front of people. So this is sort of, I'm in my element here, I'm very, very excited. Like I said, I've been thinking about this for a little while. I hope to have fun. Just because it's my last year, just to have fun, ultimately. I think that's the best answer at this point, yeah. If I win, that's a good thing, but if I don't, that's okay. I'm just ultimately trying to have fun. This is my senior year here. Just make it special. I've been singing almost every day of the week for like since I found out I was uh, nominated for it. So uh, that would be nice, but even if I don't, I still plan to have fun. I'd be happy for anyone because we have a great group of contestants tonight. I'm excited. I've always loved pageant. Um, I'm a first semester senior, so like this is my last chance to participate and be involved with pageant. So I'm really, really excited for whatever the night holds. I don't know if I hope to win, but I hope to have fun. Come on, step up to the plate. It is my pleasure to announce that the first Cabrini Royal of the night is Megan Drosh. Congratulations. All the contestants today did an absolutely fantastic job. And I'm just honored to get the title. It is also my pleasure to announce that our next Cabrini Royal of the night is Alexis Shaw! I guess it 
wasn't expected, like I said before, I tried to come in here with just a positive mindset and have fun. And so I feel good right now, yeah. And your final completed work of the night is none other than Ryan Calderon. I am feeling so amazing. It is, it is good to be king. Let me tell you that.